Yeah, I think so. I think uh, I've been very fortunate throughout my career, both as a player and a coach. I've been around a lot of smart people. Um, so just picking up little things and, you know, a, a lot of it's just a lot of details. I think, you know, the difference in, you know, one step to the right or one step to the left is, is it's huge. And I think being a coach now, you know, everything matters way more than you think it does when you're a player. Um, so it's been, uh, but like I said, I've, I've, I've been very fortunate when I was a player and a coach. I've been around a lot of really smart people who have helped kind of teach me. So I've, I've been very fortunate in that regard. What kind of relationship did you start forming with Jeff at Ohio State? And, you know, were you kind of like thrilled that he asked you to come back here? Yeah, it's uh, so, so Coach Half and I, we sat next to each other on game day uh, up in the press box, um, you know, develop a relationship off the field, just, you know, talking ball and, you know, he, he's one of the, the smartest coaches and one of the best people I've ever, you know, been privileged enough to be around. Um, so just getting to know him and, you know, picking his brain on certain things was, uh, you know, an unbelievable opportunity for me at Ohio State. Um, and obviously when he, when he asked me to come back, I was, it was like, it was like pinch me. I was like, uh, jumped at the opportunity. It was very, very happy. Uh, obviously you understand the culture here better than anybody. So did, did, that, did that kind of, way into the conversations did you kind of tell them not just bc football but bc yeah i think uh you know it's, this is a very unique place you know you get a you get a different type of student athlete someone that has to value the culture that you know that this school values um so you know just kind of telling them a little bit about some of the play you know the type of players bc's had in the past um you know obviously i've been away for a couple of years so it's it's you know it, it's changed or you know it's still the same a little bit but you know, just tell them about the kind of about campus and about you know how, how things have gone here. At least when I was a player and the one year I was a GA. Um, but yeah, tell them a little bit about BC. You know, he was uh, he, he was great throughout everything. You know, picking my brain about Boston, the campus, you know, the environment around campus and everything. Um, first off, welcome back. Uh, thank you. Um, Appreciate it. But. From a positional standpoint, I mean, it hasn't been that long since you were you were playing here. Um, what have you learned in, in your couple of stops just about linebackers, about the role in the defense, and, and how has that maybe even been different since, since you were a player? Yeah, I think, um, you know, a lot of the things I've learned is just, you know, how the linebacker really has to take control of the defense. You know, I've been told the guys here today, I said, if the D-line's not lined up, that's, that's our fault. Um, you know, things I think got to flow from, from linebackers. I think if you, if you look at teams and you look at great players in the past, great defenses, I think linebackers have really had that emotional edge to them. Um, so I think emotionally we got to lead the defense. Um, and just learning, you know, linebacker play kind of at the places I've been, you know, like I was talking about, you know, the, just the details of, you know, alignment, assignment, where my eyes are in a certain play. I think that's been, you know, a real uh, a great learning experience for me in the past couple of places. Common thread amongst everybody in the, on the coaching staff is they, they coached at a high level. They coach whether it's in the NFL or NBA, Ohio State, Alabama. They've had like that elite level of coaching. What does that bring to an entire like staff when all those guys have the same sort of mindset about it? I think it's great. I mean, I, I think our staff is unbelievable. I think Coach Halfley hired you know a bunch of really good people first and foremost, but they're really smart staff. So I've been again. I feel very fortunate to be part of the staff and just picking their brain. Um, but I think being at those higher, you know, higher places, you do learn how much details matter. Um, you know, one step the wrong way, you, you could be chasing a guy on defense. So I think being at those places and just learning how detailed you have to be uh, to be successful. And then it, it's little things like, you know, in walkthrough, am I dialed in? You know, is it my, my, it's my body language when I'm just going through a walkthrough. You know, I, I think that, that, that's been really a, a great learning experience for me. The places I've been is just, you know, how, how focused you have to be in order to execute on Saturday. Just going back a couple of years, just talk about being in that St. Xavier pipeline that came through BC at that small window, but it was you, Steven, and Luke just before him. Yeah, it's, uh, it was crazy. I was, uh, you know, texting, you know, obviously we recruited Matt, um, but I was texting with Luke and with Steve uh, a couple of weeks ago saying, hey, man, the, the pipeline's going to keep going. You know, there's been lines there too. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's just crazy. You know, saying next to here is just kind of a natural fit. I think, um, BC is just a little bit of a bigger version, but, uh, you know, it was really cool to kind of, you know, still stay in touch with those guys and just talk about, you know, the players that have come, come here, uh, through, through St. X. It's, uh, it's wild. Uh, 
think you could recruit in the in the heartland for uh, Jeff? Yeah, you know, I hope so. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think we, you never have to sell BC. I think that's one of the best parts about this place is you're getting a great education and you're going to play great football um, at a school that values the right things. So um, we're definitely, we're going to go get the, the, the players that fit, you know, our, our, our culture and BC's culture.